Lake Turkana. It's a harsh environment for fishermen here. Temperatures can reach as high as 40 degrees and in recent years, catches have been dwindling. Many have left, but those who stay barely make a living. Social entrepreneur Francis Deritu and recent winner of the Earthshot Prize for his work on sustainability started Keep It Cool to try and stem the tide. He started with refrigeration. 40% of the fish caught here is being lost, much of it down to poor or non-existent cooling. All of the points of the distribution chain have been supplied with solar-powered freezers. The refrigeration system is a hybrid solar-powered freezer. So the freezer can work perfectly well off-grid, meaning that it uses green energy, that is solar power. You only need solar, a controller, and battery. Then the freezer runs perfectly well. Uh, we have a good number of people who are off-grid, but they have access to green energy. So now this technology has been uh, incorporated to help such a kind of people to access cooling as a service. Lake Turkana is six to seven hundred kilometers from the capital, so I'm keen to see what condition the fish is in when it finally arrives. So after a relatively long journey from the lake, the fish end up here at the Keep It Cool processing plant located on the outskirts of the Kenyan capital, Nairobi. So for health and safety purposes, I'm going to go and kit up and then I'm going to go in and have a look. It's in this plant that another key plank of Keep It Cool strategy is implemented. They clean up the fish to make sure they get the best possible price at market. After receiving, we start the process of scaling. After scaling, we do gutting. Now we are able to wash the fish and then after that we start sorting. Another one of Keep It Cool's innovations is the creation of an online marketplace called Markiti. Markiti is a Swahili word or Arabic word for market, right? So when you think about Markiti, you think about market. So we thought of a way to digitize the market, the way they operate, by disrupting the, some of the nuances that it has in terms of too many middlemen and all that. Uh, our intention is to streamline the value chain using this platform. That's how we are able to use technology, for example, to know the one, the type of fish they want, the quality of fish they want, the size of fish they want, and at what time they actually need that fish. So we map backwards and we go to the fishermen and tell them, okay, this is what the restaurants in Nairobi want. This is what you should go and look for. And by doing that, we avoid a lot of wastage because most of the time fishermen will just go and fish everything and try to sell it in the market. And there's one more trick up Keep It Cool's sleeve to squeeze every drop out of the value chain. Fish offcuts are treated with the same respect as the best fillets to make sure every ounce of value is realized. Beatrice has been in partnership with Keep It Cool for the past three years. This business has enabled me to take care of my family. I have got four children. It supports us because uh, it's paying our house rent, it's paying this, our house rent back at home, it's paying school fees for our children, and uh, it's even paying these premises. In this area of Madari, it's a slum. It's a long outer ring road. So it has, uh, it has helped so many people, this, the, the fish that you're selling, because we are selling the products for these women. And many of them are the less fortunate. Some of them are widows and single mothers. So they are, they are earning from this fish now. So by streamlining the supply chain, using technology to help keep the fish fresh, and making sure the fishermen only catch what there's a market for, Keep It Cool claims fish distribution is now 98% efficient, thereby making a better future for these rural communities.